Hello and welcome to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I don't know. I bet there's, like, one other chick in Australia who's super trustworthy. No chance. You're one in a hundred infinities, Chloe Price. I wore this bracelet Thank my you. entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than right here. Aww. You ship it though, that's so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. My heart, that was so cute. Okay, 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 we'll keep moving. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. What if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Joel. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I 
can't just ask my parents for a ride. True. Oh, but yeah. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Rachel, dude. In mode to play with controller. I wonder if this game works well with controller. Oh, we're having another dream. She's gonna yeah. play with her dad? I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Oh, that's weird. We never... That wasn't you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, it's... you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What is... This is so weird. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? <laughs> this is so yeah, weird. So... None of this is real. You're not real. Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world 
being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. This mm. is weird. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh. That's a nightmare and a half for her to have. Boo! Also, who yelled boo? Couldn't fully tell who it was. Wait. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Good boy. Price. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Eager much? Where's the money? Um, I have a question to ask you first. I mean, a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it i'm your favorite client remember be in the junkyard in two hours <sighs> sweet thanks man you're a real <sighs> that went well i guess i don't know i'm sus of that what am i getting myself into i'm sus of that I don't trust that for a second. Okay. Thanks for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm? You are sick? Okay, that. Oh no. What did I just do? Oh no. Uh. There we go. There we go. A little bit of ba ba ba. Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Uh, I'm still at my house, just showering and grabbing tools for the truck. So, me at the junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Okay, that looks like we have another one here. Yep. When you think about it, it's kind of amazing that anyone ever trusts anybody about anything. Take the stars for example, we learn all these things about them in school, but no one bothers to tell you the most important fact of all. Some of them are dead, yet 
somehow, Rachel trusts me with the most important thing in her world, finding her real mom. She didn't ask me right away. At first, she didn't even want to talk. It was kind of like the junkyard a couple days ago, but this time, I didn't freak out on her. I gave her space. Here's something you never learned, Max. When you care about someone who's hurting, you can do anything. You do anything you can be, be there for her. Even that means making the stars shine in her bedroom. That's how I got Rachel to open up and ask me about finding her mom. I told her I can do it. If I can reach Frank and get the truck running, we have a chance. Chloe, conjurer of stars. Hmm. I was like, what's happening? It's because I was pressing a button. I was pressing left trigger. Okay. Sorry. I usually play this game on mouse and keyboard, but I wanted to switch to controller. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Yeah, I'd be pretty mad too if I was Chloe. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. I'm so just absolutely not used to controllers, okay? <sighs> it's way too early to be up on a Sunday. I apologize if, like, the camera movement ain't great. I'm not really used to controller, and there's, like, some delay to it for some reason. I don't know why, but, like, when I take it off, it, like, finishes adjusting after for some reason. I don't know why, and it's, like, smoothing it out. It's weird. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Many absences. Ooh! Wow, I love the <laughs> the history. 18 absences. That's so great. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Almost forgot I had this. I haven't played with it since uh, ever. Hmm. Dude, spinning globes was always so fun. My parents had one as a kid. That would spin on occasion. Uh -huh. It would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Wonder what I can find out about Rachel's mom. Figures. Do a little research. Uh, one result. <laughs> nice. Um, what? Victoria, she's come out photo you're tagged in. Is appreciated. In case you need more proof, Blackwell's better off with Clo without Chloe Price. So that's what girl. What? That's why. Oh, the ah. of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. Okay. Out of respect. No one asked you, Trevor. Burn. Wow, Chloe, that was classy. Okay, Blackwell's The Tempest takes Shakespeare by storm. Last night, The Tempest was reborn upon Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage. The unique and bold direction of Travis Keaton gave the show an updated feel, typically absent from overdone classic works. Still in the lead role, the young Rachel Amber commanded the stage just as Prosper, her Prosper herself commands the unknown. Or the special mention was Nathan Prescott as Caliban. This promising young actor's weak, anxious, trembling interpretation of the enslaved monster added a further layer of nuance, severely underappreciated by the teenage crowd. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> Yet, the real star tonight in the royal area was the newcomer, Chloe Price, whose chemistry with Miss Amber's Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda and Vernon and. As she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty, Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance. Indeed, when Prospera refuses Ariel's freedom in an excellent revision of the original script, I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise than Miss Price's authentic astonishment. Hang in there, Skip. Oh no. Don't quit your day job in an interview with Skip Matthews. Oh no. Uh, following the sudden popularity of your song, Nothing Wrong, what's next for your band? Skip Matthews. Well, for the moment, we're still taking things slowly. So, we shouldn't hold our breath for a full album on the horizon? One day. But for now, I'm still working my day job. 
Sometimes you have to do what you have to do in order to keep the dream alive, even if it seems like it's holding you back. Alright. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. I don't know. Alright. Let's go ahead. Ooh, there's the shelves here. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Skateboard's pretty, though. I like the design. Have I ever watered that? Water it right now. Uh, better than nothing. There you go. I don't think giving soda to a uh, plant is gonna do much. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Can't pick an outfit though, sadly. I wanna pick an outfit. <laughs> So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is an evil person. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yep. I've had it with the school. Nobody cared about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to drug someone, it bites you. That's just the worst. F you, Chloe. I mean, Chloe has a point. Is that... David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Maybe mom threw my towel in here. No, what? No awesome pirate towel. That's weird. A logical place for a towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Okay. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. What is that? Oh, homemade. Like, that's for... Yep. For styling men's hair. I don't even know what's in there. Who's in here? <sighs> Score. There's hair I dye there. Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Isn't that the hair dye she uses Captain for the Bluebeard's hair dye? Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. No, I think it's different because she had permanent hair dye. the best shower of my life. Hot water. Don't let me down. I kind of want to explore other places, but I have a feeling it won't... Oh, it will! William's clothes? Yikes. I don't know if we'll get to search here later or some search here right now. Mom actually sold her ring? $300. That's why. Shit. David really is moving in. Yikes. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. Oh no. <sighs> Can I just give that to mom again for Mother's Day? It's in the drawer. Oh. Well. What they're doing. 
You know what they're doing. <laughs> I wonder who gave this to Mom. Well, yeah. Wonder who. So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? Because nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow <laughs> sports car. Sports cars are really good for... Are we gonna say what are we gonna say? Hitting on chicks. So great. I love it. I like how we can see outside too. Trash day apparently. But it looks like the neighbors might not have gotten the memo. It's only us who have our trash out. It's an interesting choice. Anyway, we need to go shower. But this episode is done here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Let me know what you're thinking of my decisions. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Uh, like it. And then go follow me over on Twitch. I stream there four days a week. Thank you guys really so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.